Hello and good morning to all. We're here at the Providence Stadium. You join us for this match between West Indies and Uganda. I'm Adam Gilchrist and with me in commentary today is Michael Atherton, Mel Jones and the one and only Ali Mitchell. Always a pleasure to sit alongside you in the commentary box. Thanks, Ali. We go out to the middle now. Big decision coming up. Certainly a good toss to win. He would have batted every day of the week and twice on Sundays. Certainly feels like there are a lot of runs in this pitch. Oh, it's a loud crowd. The players make their way out. Some really strong players on both sides. Capable of scoring quick runs, big hits, and the ball. They'll be looking to take quick wickets. The pitch, that should provide a fantastic contest. Opening ball coming up. The umpire signals that we're ready to go. First ball of the innings about to be bowled. Finds the fielder with that shot. That looked nasty. Misses everything. Clicks that one, simple as you like, inside the ring. No, 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 terrible shot. The over ends and no change to the score. Some superb bowling. It's looking tough for the batters to find a way to get the ball away. Yeah, great opportunity to prove the critics wrong. Certainly needs to build an innings for the team. Joseph coming on, obviously hoping the pace will cause some trouble. Couldn't get it through the field. Massive outside edge. Time to follow up after such a great delivery. Pitch it on a length is obviously the way to go. Beats the outside edge. Good bowling there. That was a tremendous delivery. Fizzed through to the keeper. No more short balls this over.
Cuts that off well in the infield. Over Uganda are none for two. Another good over by the bowlers. Bowled to their field well, mixed their deliveries nicely. Joseph from the media centre end. Pulled away, but straight to square leg. Goes over the top with that shot. It was short enough. They just leant back and blazed it through the gap. I'd like to see them just aim for the top of off now. As a bowler, you've got to make them play on your terms. Doesn't beat the infield. through the tough early period. Now they'll walk off frustrated that they couldn't build a score for the team. Coming to the wicket, they'll be looking to play within the V early and expand as they get settled. Oh, I thought that was passing, but a fantastic dive to cut it off. Joseph finishes an economical over and walks away with a wicket, which was fully deserved. The right arm medium bowler is coming into the attack from the pavilion end. Finds the edge. It didn't time that at all, but managed to get it away to the boundary. Do they go full? Do they go short? A lot to ponder this delivery after the boundary. Still honing in on their lines, the batter happy to let it go through. Lovely cover drive, but straight to the extra cover fielder. Brilliant diving stop. <laughs> Nearly gets the edge. Hold up with a great delivery there. Winds up but misses. Looks like they went a bit too early on that shot. End of the over. A good one in terms of keeping the batters quiet. Just needed to take a wicket to make it an excellent. Four down and it feels like they're stuck in first gear at the moment. 
Need to go up a notch soon. Big edge. Let's just see if they can get that ball up into the slot as before. It's so crucial. You've got to follow up that last delivery and keep the batter under pressure. Can't get that outside the ring field. Pulled away, but straight to square leg. Just looks so easy. Gets onto the front foot and eases through the ball. I can just stand and admire that shot. Pal, I don't think will be too happy with their bowler at the moment. Brilliant shot. That's one for the crowd. Well, that was just textbook. Finds the space and power to lift that ball over the top and it just keeps going. Don't always mind getting hit for runs. What's important is just focus on getting the next delivery right. but it drops safely. West Indies goes up strong, but the batter doesn't feel they got anything on there. Doesn't agree with the decision and will challenge it. Was there a bat on it? Fielders think there was. This could be trouble. Charles with a nice catch there. Not sure why it was reviewed though. This inning's just cut short before it really flourished. It really looked like it'd be moving on to a big, big score, but not to be. And with that wicket, we'll see a change out in the middle. The task here will be that of support and getting themselves settled into their innings. Hold up from the pavilion end. Ticking the scoreboard over really nicely at the moment. Huge edge. Time to keep the pressure on now. Great ball, that last one, to find the edge. It's just a case of finding the same spot. 
Wow, that's missed a lot. Now the bat has made a bit of a meal of that delivery. Lovely cover drive, straight to the extra cover fielder. Five runs added in the over. Uganda are two for 28. West Indies can now have five fielders outside the circle. Was quick onto that in the infield. Edge, amazing delivery. Just got to follow up that last delivery. Found the edge, but no reward, but putting pressure on the batter. Four runs added in the over. Uganda are two for 32. They just haven't got going, have they? It's been a great bowling performance, though. Shepard, the right arm medium bowler, is coming into the attack from the pavilion end. Really wound up for that. Ball seemed to come onto the bat quicker than he thought. Pulled away, but straight to square leg. Massive outside edge. Thick edge.
Great shot. It was a good length to try that, and they did that with maximum results. Six more. That was seen so early. The timing was brilliant, and that is stayed hit. Fantastic. something you want to repeat of. You don't want to be giving away easy runs. Huge edge. West Indies managed to keep the batters pretty quiet in that over. We're certainly seeing some very good bowling. The right armour is coming on to bowl from the media centre end. Got that away nicely. Finds the fielder with that shot. Nicked it. Front foot punch down the ground and mid on in pursuit. Lovely footwork there. Well, you sometimes just have to stop and admire batting like that. Gets onto the front foot early, well timed, and four runs. A uh, good contest here at the moment. Four off the last ball. It'll be interesting to see how the bowler can respond. Seven runs added there. Uganda are two for 47. Right arm fast bowler is coming into the attack from the pavilion end. Big edge. Time to follow up after such a great delivery. Pitch it on a length is obviously the way to go. No, no, no. Terrible shot. Beats the outside edge. Good bowling there. Yeah. 
massive outside edge. That's the over. Uganda are two for 52. Joseph from the media centre in. Overstepping, just a little too eager on that delivery. Joseph needs to get their run-up sorted. It's all gone horribly wrong with that last delivery. They're normally much better than this. Misses everything. Gone. Great catch. Oh, great work. Held their nerve while the ball was in the air. And they've taken a good catch. Got to their 50 without a lot of trouble, and fortunately for them, the 100 wasn't to be as they head back to the dressing room. The new batter always likes to feel bad on ball as they bring a bit of nervous energy to the wicket. Doesn't beat the infield. Lovely cover drive, straight to the extra cover fielder. End of the over, six off it. Uganda are three for 58. Winds up but misses. Looks like they went a bit too early on that shot. Times through the vacant point position, racing to the boundary. A fantastic shot. Gets forward, head over the ball, and smashes that one away. Getting nice and settled at the crease now. Would have to be very happy with that last shot.
engaged. Let's just see if they can get that ball up into the slot as before. It's so crucial. You've got to follow up that last delivery and keep the batter under pressure. Straight to the fielder. West Indies managed to keep the batters pretty quiet in that over. We're certainly seeing some very good bowling. Driven on the onside, but straight to mid-wicket. Gone, knocked him over, just too much pace there. pavilion they'll be wishing they went about this innings a little differently not too much to speak of on the scoreboard new batter comes to the crease never an easy time to come into bat after the fall of a wicket massive outside edge Away. Oh, there you go. A no ball. Maybe just trying a little too hard. Just need to get more control back. You want to make use of that extra delivery. Still honing in on their lines. The batter happy to let it go through. Power and precision in that shot. That is a masterclass of batting. Reads the length, gets forward, dispatches it to the boundary. Just need to keep it simple. Line and length. Roundabout off stump. That'll force a mistake. Couldn't get it through the field. End of the over. Seven runs coming from it. Uganda are four for 72. Russell from the pavilion end. Big edge. Time to keep the pressure on now. Great ball, that last one, to find the edge. It's just a case of finding the same spot. Oh, that's got to hurt. Misjudge that one. Huge edge. Edge, amazing delivery.
big edge. Ticking the scoreboard over really nicely at the moment. Russell ends what has been a tidy over. Just needed to top it off with a wicket. The right arm medium bowler is coming on to bowl from the media centre end. Lovely cover drive, straight to the extra cover fielder. Oh. Nearly gets the edge. Shepard with a great delivery there. Massive outside edge. Just got to follow up that last delivery. Found the edge, but no reward, but putting pressure on the batter. Great shot. Pulled straight to backward square leg, though. delivery but that was dispatched with interest everyone just watched that gnaw pal i don't think will be too happy with their bowler at the moment really wound up for that ball seemed to come onto the bat quicker than he thought End of the over, Uganda a 4 for 85. Powell, the right armour is coming into the attack from the pavilion end. Wow, that's missed a lot. Oh, well, don't even bother running. It just looks so easy. Gets onto the front foot and eases through the ball. I can just stand and admire that shot. I'd like to see them just aim for the top of off now. As a bowler, you've got to make them play on your terms. Well, enough leverage there to get a good swing of the arms under it to get it over the rope. They go full to 
they go short a lot to ponder this delivery after the boundary End of the over, a big one. 11 runs coming from it. Uganda, a four for 96. Runs have been at a premium this middle portion of the match. Holder back into the attack. Is coming into the attack. Finds a fielder with that shot. Square cut, finds point, no run. Out, backward point with a stupendous catch. An absolute screamer, diving away to the side, taking a great catch. Interesting now, that's the fifth wicket, and a very frustrated person is heading back to the pavilion. And with that wicket, the new batter will mark centre. Just needs to rotate the strike early on as they get settled into their innings. Pulled away, but straight to square leg. Massive outside edge. Time to follow up after such a great delivery. Pitch it on a length is obviously the way to go. Oh, I thought that was passing, but a fantastic dive to cut it off. That's the end of the over. Two runs added. Uganda are five for 98. Powell from the pavilion end. No, 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 terrible shot. Lovely cover drive, straight to the extra cover fielder. Big edge. Oh, Ooh, misjudged that and takes a hit on the body. Great shot, pulled straight to backward square leg though. End of the over. A good one in terms of keeping the batters quiet. Just needed to take a wicket to make it an excellent one. Nice 
Nice shot. And straight to Gully. That was a solid shot. Really well played. Ball was dropped just a little shorter. And a great shot off the back foot. How will he reply? Beats the outside edge. Good bowling there. Big edge. Winds up but misses. Looks like they went a bit too early on that shot. Doesn't beat the infield. Uganda weren't given much of an opportunity there. A very tidy over. Last over of this innings. No point defending now. Solid shot. That's going for four. They picked the slower ball right away. Wasn't a bad delivery, but dispatched to the boundary with ease. That last ball isn't something you want to repeat of. You don't want to be giving away easy runs. but it drops safely. Let's just see if they can get that ball up into the slot as before. It's so crucial. You've got to follow up that last delivery and keep the batter under pressure. Misses everything. Massive outside edge. And the innings comes to an end. West Indies will need 114 runs. This total is well below par and the openers are going to be looking to close this out quickly. The bowlers are going to have to find something to make up for the rest of the batting team's failures. Here we go. Coming in for the first ball. Yeah, big opportunity. They've worked really hard in recent weeks. They should have the confidence to build an innings and get a big score on the board. It's 
still honing in on their lines. The batter happy to let it go through. Now the batter's made a bit of a meal of that delivery. Nice shot, pierces the infield. Hit that so hard. Pressed forward, got the body shape right and launched it. One for the textbook. I didn't feel there was too much wrong with that last delivery. They just need to keep the ball in the right areas and the rewards will come. Nicked it. Glanced away nicely, but fine short, fine leg. Well, you sometimes just have to stop and admire batting like that. Gets onto the front foot early, well timed, and four runs. Getting nice and settled at the crease now. Would have to be very happy with that last shot. Could that be out? Looks like it. Oh, great run out. Well, this is a fantastic wicket. Kept the runs down, really didn't get settled and looked to be in trouble for most of the knock. Before that wicket, the new batter comes charging out to the crease. They're quick to take guard and face up. This bowler knows how to give the ball an almighty tweak. Let's see how they go. Can't get that outside the ring field. Time to keep the pressure on now. Great ball, that last one, to find the edge. It's just a case of finding the same spot. This might be a bit of a suspect review by the batter. I can't see this getting overturned. Now, I didn't pick up on anything there. Very close to the bat, though.
Good wicket to pick up, but a wasted review by the batter. You could clearly see and hear the edge and even see the deviation through to the keeper. That's a long way to walk out there just to turn around and walk straight back. They'll just want to get this first run behind them and then push on. Pulled away, but straight to square leg. We didn't time that at all, but managed to get it away to the boundary. A uh, good contest here at the moment. Four off the last ball. It'll be interesting to see how the bowler can respond. End of the over. Five runs coming from it. West Indies are two for 19. With two overs down into the second innings and they're scoring freely at the moment and hold an early advantage. Ticking the scoreboard over really nicely at the moment. Magical shot into the vacant fine leg position. I do not think anyone's going to stop that. Pushed under the front foot and presented the full face of the bat. Yeah, it can be very disheartening seeing good delivery smacked around. Sometimes, though, you've just got to accept it and move on. Lovely cover drive, but straight to the extra cover fielder. Cuts that off well in the infield. Eight runs out of there. West Indies are two for 27. Onto the front foot. Super shot. Should be four. Erz on the side of bowling slightly fuller and have been put away. Always difficult to focus after what happened last ball, but you just got to stay positive and believe the wicket's going to come. Still honing in on their lines. The batter happy to let it go through. Was quick onto that in the infield. Nice shot, straight to gully. Mm. 
massive outside edge. Just got to follow up that last delivery. Found the edge, but no reward, but putting pressure on the batter. Huge edge. Eight runs added in that over. West Indies are two for 35. Well, I think the bowlers would be a bit disappointed with how they've come out at the start, but they can definitely rein it in a bit still. Great shot, pulled straight to backward square leg though. Brilliant, that'll take some catching. That's just a brilliantly aggressive shot. Gets onto the front foot and it's flown over the boundary. I'd like to see them just aim for the top of off now. As a bowler, you've got to make them play on your terms. Right, outside edge, but it'll be safe and another boundary. Bowler is in disbelief on that one. Super batting at the moment. Back to back boundaries, putting the pressure right on the bowler. They've got to respond. Finds the fielder with that shot. Great shot, through the gap. Smashed all over the park. I wonder if the captain will stick with them. That was a boundary the moment the ball left the bat. Can't time that any better. Perfection. The right armour is coming into the attack from the pavilion end. Magical shot into the vacant fine leg position, and I do not think anyone's going to stop that. Nothing really wrong with that ball. Got onto the front foot and found the gap to get that one to the boundary. Boundary last ball. What's to come this delivery? I wonder. Great commitment. Disappointing display in the end for someone with such skill. This goes down as a fail. Difficult period as they come to the wicket. They'll take plenty of time to settle themselves in before facing their first ball.
Good shot, a beauty. You can't fault that shot, nicely played, four runs all the way. Just need to keep it simple, line and length, round about off stump, that'll force a mistake. Glanced away nicely, but fine short front leg. They've gone up here. Couldn't get it through the field. The end of another over. This time, though, some more fielding changes are coming as the power play finishes. Uganda are now allowed five fielders outside the circle. The left arm pace bowler is coming into the attack from the media centre end. Lovely cover drive, but straight to the extra cover fielder. Does very well to quickly get across to this one. Massive outside edge. Three runs added in that over. West Indies are three for 61. They've done well. Sometimes after the power play, the run rate can drop a bit. But the batters have kept up the intent they had early on. And this run chase looks secure. Huge edge. Let's just see if they can get that ball up into the slot as before. It's so crucial. You've got to follow up that last delivery and keep the batter under pressure. Uganda with a massive shout. The trudge back to the pavilion. A disappointing display in the end for someone with such batting skills. This one goes down as a fail. The field will come up now, you'd think. Pressure should be on as the new batter strides to the middle. They'll be looking for another quick wicket. Got that away nicely. A lovely shot off the bat, but the shorter ball having no joy and getting dispatched for four runs.
Do they go full? Do they go short? A lot to ponder this delivery after the boundary. Onto the front foot, super shot, should be four. It just looks so easy. Gets onto the front foot and eases through the ball. I can just stand and admire that shot. Don't always mind getting hit for runs. What's important is just focus on getting the next delivery right. Doesn't beat the infield. Uganda managed to keep the batters pretty quiet in that over. We're certainly seeing some very good bowling. They've got busy working the ball around and hitting boundaries in between. It's a good setup for a strong finish. Perfectly timed. Straight to the fielder. Nicked it. Eight runs out of there. West Indies, four for seven in. Bowler respond. Brilliant diving stop. Lovely cover drive, but straight to the extra cover fielder. Clex that one, simple as you like, inside the ring.
end of the over. Three runs coming off it. West Indies are four for 82. They've done well. Sometimes after the power play, the run rate can drop a bit. But the batters have kept up the intent they had early on. And this run chase looks secure. Good shot. A beauty. And a real flash at that one. Beautifully struck, too. Don't need to do anything special. Line and length is the key here. so easily have been a game-changing innings. All the same, it's been fabulous to watch. A lot of pressure coming to the crease. Not had the best of weeks leading up to this game, so I want to show everyone their strength. Cuts that off well in the infield. Straight to the fielder at long off. The batter thought they might have cleared the fence there for a moment, but it's fallen short. But great work held their nerve while the ball was in the air, and they've taken a good catch. to the tail enders now. Sixth wicket gone. There's not a lot left in this lineup. Lots of pressure coming into bat. They'll have to wait just a little bit longer to face their first ball though. The slow left armour is coming on to bowl from the pavilion end. Played that beautifully. Saw the short one and got out of the way. No more of those in this over. What a ball! Time to keep the pressure on now. Great ball, that last one, to find the edge. It's just a case of finding the same spot. Great shot. It was a good length to try that, and they did that with maximum result for six more. Just waited on it, got given a bit of width, and launched it all the way. Quick onto that in the infield. Misses everything.
That is quite extraordinary. Pow, don't do it to him like that. What a shot. That's a brilliantly aggressive shot. Gets on the front foot and it's flown over the boundary. Last one helped the scoring rate, making their intentions for this innings. Driven on the onside, but straight to mid-wicket. Well, that was another good over. You can see the frustration growing on the batters. Can't get that outside the ring field. Finds a fielder with that shot. No, no, no. Terrible shot. some really good overs strung together they've taken some risks along with some good running a very good total is on the way might look to go big again here huge edge Time to follow up after such a great delivery. Pitch it on a length is obviously the way to go. Thought that was passing, but a fantastic dive to cut it off. Massive outside edge. Just got to follow up that last delivery. Found the edge, but no reward, but putting pressure on the batter. What a ball. Edged it. Good bowling in that over. Just the one from it. West Indies are six for 107. The right arm pace bowler is coming into the attack from the media centre end. Shot. 
Gets onto the front foot and that shot is full of aggression. Sent high and long over the rope. That was one of the easiest wins at this level of cricket you are likely to witness. A class above. Well, that was a very one-sided contest. The result 